Okay then, ladies and gentlemen. So next up, we have Brendan Smith representing Scotland. He's from Glenview, Durgarth, Durness, up there in the Shetlands. Probably one of the furthest travel competitors to make it to us. He is running Lass, who is five years and five months old, by Lad, owned by Patrick Byrne, out of Carafan, owned by Patrick Byrne. Brendan is from the Shetland Islands. He's 44 years of age. He was brought up on the family farm and he now owns a small holding and contract gathers for others. Got into the dogs and sheep at an early age and started training his first dog at the age of 14, which was a pup from his uncle. And he had a love for border collies ever since. He recalls watching one man and his dog with his grandfather every Sunday at a young age and has always had an interest ever since and a love for trialling. Lass is a good all-round work and trial bitch and suits him down to the ground. And he's been doing open trials since 2017. He's competed at the National twice, 2019, 2021. And this is his first year competing at the International. And he sent Lass right-handed as well. So the set-out dogs are up there behind the sheep and Lass comes in. They did a nice job letting out dolls and last did a nice job lifting them. They had the dog in front of the sheep. I wasn't sure which way the sheep were going to break for a second, but that looks good now. That's a nice start. You know, the, the set out men at the top of the field are often underrated, but they can make or break a run because if the sheep are running before the dog even gets there, then everything can go wrong. But if, if they take control and make sure that everybody's got the same then it ensures a good standard of trialling, and which is exactly what we need here at the International, of course. Especially when tra somebody's travelled all the way to the Shetland, you wouldn't want him having a bad start, but it looks as if Brendan is making the most of this now. And Do you say that th those Welshmen at the top of the field are doing a good job now, but then them, a lot of them boys, there's plenty of experience around here and plenty of fellas with good dogs, good working dogs, and they know all about what's needed up there. Yeah, just, and the all committee members, they'll all be practical working men, but a lot of them will be doing trials as well, so they'll know what is expected. And good sheep men, good men to read sheep, and they'll know these sheep. I've been following Brendan a bit on Facebook there, I confess, and you wouldn't recognise him today. He usually has a big trademark jumper there, a big islander jumper, and maybe an old woolly hat to go with it. But uh, the only giveaway with him today now, you'll see when the sheep come to the post, he's got a good strong beard there. Yeah, well, but he's we're like closer to the sea down here. It's a <laughs> bit yeah, warmer he'll down at, here. He'll, he'll be at home, yeah. It'll just be a bit warmer, maybe a little less rougher. He probably came down through the Lake District and decided to shed a layer and take the jumper off. And Yeah, no, like you said, I've been following him on Facebook as well. And Great to see these guys Lovely all the way from the top of Scotland Yes, in the team. Even to get to the mainland, I'd say it's a bit of a spin in the boat. But... Uh it's lovely to see him on the team this year, but it equally it's lovely to see him there. I see him on Facebook and he's being boats going out to islands with sheep in him and sheep in the boat and sheep on the island and his dogs I've seen a lot. Like. And there's a lot of good stock up around the Shetlands there as well. There's a lot of good produced animals coming from there and a lot of good dogs up there as well. So He has these lovely and settled now and all together in a bunch. Yeah, I'd, I'd say he'd be happy with his start coming down that fetch. And then, of course, he's got a long way to go, but he'd be hoping to get him settled and on that driving. And Lass looks to be up to the task so far. Nice, smooth-coated, prick-eared bitch. Looks very keen. And on to the turn they go, and as he turns, we'll see that trademark beard coming out, Paddy. Yeah, I think he'd he'd qualify as an extra on the Vikings film set after this if he wanted it. I'd say he'd be glad to get back to his woolly hat and his jumper. There's a nice turn now and the sheep are lovely and settled and going at just a nice pace now. That's a nice pace to be getting a hurl at. He 
Yeah, and as you said, that as they've seen their previous competitors, they'll they'll have picked their line and they'll they'll be picking those telltales on that line. And he'll be walking, he'll be hoping that they go straight to those gates and then he'll have his turn. And you can just see in the background the sea just rippling away across the top of the screen. That shows how close we are to the coast. He's safe enough to turn now. He's making sure of it, yeah, though. Yeah, he's been careful. He is, it? yeah. And he stopped her well to make sure that they didn't come back through the hurdles. And now he's on, just about to start his cross drive now, all the way across. He was being a bit careful, but like we said, it's better to be safe than sorry there. He has that element out of the way. You read out some of the pedigree of this bitch, and I heard you say... Uh, there's something there, maybe a grandmother called Curra Fan, and uh, that Curra prefix belongs to a friend of mine, Matt Murphy, and he's, uh, he's travelling over with me here to the International, but if he finds out that this one has got some Curra Fan, I'll never hear the end of it, I'll be listening to it all the way home. <laughs> You'll have to turn the radio up on the boat going back home. But yeah, no, she's she's out of Curra Fan by Pat Byrne's lad, so Pat Byrne obviously owns both the dog and the bitch now, so he bred this. And it looks as if Brendan Smith is having a, a good run across the cross drive. Well, let's see the telltales again. He's a nice bit this side of the thistle. He's probably a little bit low. But at the same time, it looks good there now. I don't know where the next telltale is. Maybe this little bit of green in front of the sheep. They might need to step on that. Yeah, on, on the, the screen it looks... Say it looks a little high there again. We'll see that all truth will be revealed in a second. He's just given the flank now and turned them. Right. We're coming a bit too much our way, are we? There we go. It's nice. She's on her feet there too, and it's nice for flanking off. Yeah. Again, if I was Brendan now, I'd be just relieved there now. If that one done, there's another one down. Back to the close work now. Yeah, she's a lovely, stylish, fast bitch as well. On her, f as you said, she's on her feet, but she he has got good control on her because she will hit the ground. But she's got a nice pace walking behind those sheep. And look, he's concentrating on that return leg, the last leg of the drive, bringing those sheep back towards the shedding ring. saying earlier this is Brendan Smith from right up on Shetland he's travelled a long way from the top of Scotland down near Tabristwith but he's got his sheep now into the shedding ring the last just moving around behind the sheep flanking and he'll be just walking up to his sheep Brendan now just shuffling those sheep around, working two uncollared sheep out to the outside. And Brendan still trying to work two uncollared sheep out to the outside, trying to make that gap. Not presenting. He's having to work for this now, Paddy. And as we said earlier, this could be just. He did make good 
economical use around the course, but it, as you get to this point, it's just taking a bit of time off you. Well, he got it done anyway. He, he has did. it now. That was touch and go for a second. Yeah, it looked as if she just danced her way back, but he managed to just pause. And that was good shepherding skills there as well because he, he helped the dog and the dog made the most of the gap and came through. I'm sure up where he is, he's used to sorting sheep there. There's probably a few of them have sheep together and they're, they're probably sorting them out, bringing them down and putting them in boats, never mind pens. Yeah. I suppose the one thing with the boat going up and down, you've got to time your run on, on the wave <laughs> as well, haven't you? And he's bringing these sheep now. A nice type of bitch there, and lass. Smooth coated, prick eared, and nice and sharp as well, Paddy. She's and clean, she's clean in her flanks. There, she is it? very clean. Brendan's job. Oh man. Nice. I, I wouldn't like to be judging this now. This is tough. It's a good thing we have the caliber of judges we have because you know there's there's very small stuff to be split and runs on here, I think. Yeah, the the sheep are good and it's allowing good runs, isn't it? It's it's making it for as you say, it's gonna be down to the pencil to decide who's going to make it into that Supreme on Sunday and that's where everybody's focus is going to be concentrated for Brendan now the quality of this live feed though I'm sitting here looking at this thinking I'd rather be in here looking at this than out on the course oh and look at that lovely and they've called it well done Brendan well That'll make the trip all the way from Shetland <laughs> worthwhile. He'll be he'll be a happy man coming off. <laughs> He's a hardy looking fella, isn't it? It's easy now he came off an island. Yeah, you'd want to make friends with him, wouldn't you? Yeah, I was talking nice to him here <laughs> earlier. Uh, we better be careful with the commentary. Uh, we should have seen him before we started. <laughs> Perhaps we better be careful if we ever want to go on holiday to the Shetlands anyway. But no, a good run there. We've seen some very good running this morning so far. Completed runs. So Brendan Smith then, representing Scotland from up Dunross Ness in Shetland. He's got a smile as he comes off the field and there's our course director. That's a look up across the field, and I think we're going to have a look at the scores so far this morning then.